I wonder, are you a worker? Are you a warrior? Are you no longer being served? But are you a servant? I mean, many, many in this building are still being served. You don't do one blessed thing to, to <laughs> you don't, folks, I don't want to hurt your feelings. But you, you come up and sit here on Sunday morning and think you've done God a wild favor. I mean, you're saved, but you're not a worker. You're not a warrior. You're not in the battle. You have simply gotten saved and said, Hallelujah, thank God my sins are forgiven. And there you have stopped. Well, you say, Pastor, I'm not afraid of the devil. Well, that's not even the question. The question is, is the devil afraid of you? I mean, are you any threat to Satan's kingdom? Have you? Are you overcoming the wicked one? The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do you know what the devil wants? Let me tell you what the devil wants. The devil wants to line up like the Green Bay Packers against the kindergarten. That's what he wants. And friend, in the average church, that's what happens. He calls the play and right up the middle they go because what you've got out here is a lot of little kindergartners. They're not strong. They don't know anything about the battle. And Satan is having his way because he is fighting against an army of children. Are you a victor or a victim? Are you an overcomer or overcome? Are you strong? Does the Word of God abide in you? Can you honestly, literally say that you're an overcomer? If not, you've been saved for a while. Shame on you. If you're a little baby, yes, welcome into the nursery. But you, this, this delayed uh, growth is a shame to Almighty God. Like we always do about this time. 